I was really excited when I heard about this game, so it, it was a rare game that I had to hunt down, and I found it, and then I was kind of disappointed. It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solid Tournament, tournament where um, we're still not going back to doing that, that innovation finale yet. I wanted to um, pause, because I wanted to make sure I got a couple games in the tournament before we move on to Ghetto, and um, that has to do with the fact that the English leg, you know, started with careers and is kind of focusing on real life in some ex to some extent. I, I like games that uh, c that are relevant. Um, this game I think could be relevant to some people. The game we're about to play, um, it wasn't about real life in the way I wanted it to be. It, it kind of uh, takes a very like economic-minded focus, meaning that money is the goal takes the assumption that, you know, like, everything can be reduced to dollars, people's behavior is rational, and all of that, um, but there's no, like, um, the, the people in this game have no, like, sense of enjoyment of their life, I guess, they have some goal they have, so I guess they take it, enjoyment in that way, but, um, so let's, let's show you the game, and we'll talk a little bit about it, and then we'll get started playing. So, Cardiaxis, what's your life's ambition? I'm not a very goal-focused person, um, so already the game doesn't feel totally relevant to me. I don't, if, if I were to have one of these cards that says, okay, this person is good at this thing and their goal is to do this, I don't know what I'd put on there. I don't think I could translate that to life. Now, I think some people do have that goal. Um, like, say, there's someone in here who has a goal to become a doctor. And I think people who are doctors oftentimes do have that goal to start out with, and then they reach it. But then I think they have goals beyond that as well. And this game is missing out on a lot of that, like starting a family. That's a goal some people have, seeing the world. Like, even if you look at the secret fantasies on our real people, to see every country on every continent. There's no way that this that's in this game. And, of course, you can't have every particular goal in the game, but... This game is really just focused on going to school so that you can get jobs or you can start companies or you can invest in stocks. Those are kind of the, the main things you can do in this game. And that's pretty much it. You can also invest in retirement. So it's very much just like uh, the economic side of things. And so I can't really judge the game based on that. Um, and I also haven't fully played it, but just from reading the rules, I, I put put off playing this for a long time, despite how excited I was to get it. From reading the rules, it seems like that's what it's about. So if you um, are interested in stocks and things like that, you can decide for yourself if this game models that at all. Um, but okay, so let's let's get started. We have Tater as in Tot. Um, she is going to be playing as Julie. Uh, she starts with a business growth. I'm not quite sure what business growth does, but you do get business income, so I bet that those are related. Um, watermelon, she gets a free ride, a full ride to scholarship. Uh, oh, a full, <laughs> full ride to college. Full ride scholarship to college as Brian. Um, and she wants to get 20 attributes and 20 business growth. And what you do if you make your goal is you get a bunch of money. <laughs> so... Again, it's kind of like everything's tied back to money. Um, she wants to buy 10 Carnaxis cards. Kaz and Cat is playing as Barry. Um, Cowboy is Alan. He's the sports guy. He would like to be a sports guy, a better sport, the a pro professional sports guy. That's a tough goal, and I think that's a goal some people have, um, but very few can achieve because there's a limited pool of sports positions available. Um, oh, what's her name? forget your name. Sid, that's right. Sid has a, a less memorable name. Um, she's playing as Crystal, and she's a handy person who's also really cute. Um, and then Smudge. Smudge is having a bit of a lark. He wanted to be Stacy, though I think maybe that could be a, a fantasy of his. But so he's like even more beautiful than Crystal, than Sid's character. And... She gets, he gets paid for, for um, becoming more beautiful. So maybe she's like on um, Instagram or something like that. All right, so we'll get started playing this game, and you'll get to enjoy it with all of us. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little scattered today. I forgot to mention I want to get this out in front so that there's no accusals of um, unfairness or rigging uh, before we start the game. 
that um, this the the what these people get in this game is not going to go directly onto the board. Okay, it's they're going to play another game after this one called Feast Frun Feta Fetin, which is something to do with like moist fetuses. I think is the translation. I I, I translated it one time with some help. I think. Um, but that was years ago, and I don't remember what it came down to. I'll look that up um, so before we play it. But that game is more about um, dealing with your own urges in life, and I think kind of is more along the lines of how I would think things are. Um, it's not perfect either, but so we're going to average out the, the, the score, see how they're going to kind of, basically our real people are going to live through two lives, and just see how they do on average between those two lives. And then that will go on the board. Unless I find a third game that also kind of fits along, and then they'll do that one too. But I don't think there is. So, um, that I have anyway. I can think of other games like that, but I don't own them. Um, so let's, let's go back to the game. Sorry about that interruption. I'm very sorry. Okay, so the game starts off with an event. Every, there's 12 turns. We do an event first. Um, this one's kind of funny in light of um, recent news about our own government's position on taxes. Um, I'm talking about the federal government of the United States of America. So here we have government relief. No one's going to have to pay taxes this year. Now taxes happen at the end of the turn and it's based on your income and if you have an accountant or not. So if you pay the smart tax, if you have an accountant, if you don't, you pay the um, dumb tax. So no one's going to have to worry about the, this turn, which is nice, I suppose. And then we're going to add 10,000 to the un unemployment fund. That's right there. Then we update the stocks. Now, how does that work? I think we only have one stock here, and that's this stock. We're going to roll this, and it goes down one. I think that's pretty much it. Then we're going to go around, and people are going to take their little squares here. Everyone's going to get two of, two of these to use. Um, if you get certain jobs, you get an extra one for some reason. Like if you're a pro athlete, you get an extra action. Maybe it's because you don't have to work as much. I don't. But same with a rocket scientist, they also get an extra action. I don't think there's any reason for that other than they just thought it would be a fun bonus to have. So they're going to get two actions. They can only do. They can't do the same thing twice. And they basically go around and they put their squares on these things. So um, Smudge rolled to go first. Um, we'd like to get more charisma. So become the hairstylist. So those are his big goals. So let's look over here. Um, hairstylist, he needs charisma, aptitude, and handiness. He's got the charisma. Uh, and own the shoe shop business or franchise. Shoe shop, charisma, aptitude. So he's got to get his, uh, he wants to get up his charisma, aptitude, and um, handiness. So probably wants to go to school, right? Because you get one, plus one aptitude. So if he goes to school twice, he'll get his aptitude requirements. And he can also bump up either handiness or charisma with that. I think he would like to go ahead and go to school. These are the attributes here. So charisma, aptitude, accounting, and handiness. Now what if your aptitude is for accounting? Is that What does that do? Um... I think he'll go with the charisma first, just to get that money. And he gets an aptitude, but he has to pay some money, doesn't he? He has to pay five thousand. So he, so he basically gets paid for going five thousand dollars to go to college. That's pretty good. Okay, now Sid's crystal. She has a bit more of an open Carnaxis. That's her life ambition, and that she wants to. Get a, a high-paying job, seventy thousand. That's pretty high-paying. I don't know why you'd need to make more than that. Um, I guess because the more you make, the just the better your life is. Um, and acquire twenty business growth. Now, what business growth is? Basically, you get it by starting businesses. Okay, and I think from starting franchises as well. And plus business growth of mother. Yeah, um, and then that gets added to your business income which is what you get. So every year your business your business will grow if you have any kind of business growth. So does she want to start? Well, she wants to start by looking at the businesses because that's going to be a part of it. She's got to think about businesses and jobs. What does she want to look for in both? She could go for the tax collector, which would be pretty nice. Give her a big tax discount. 
Um, so if she shoots for that, she needs charisma. She's got the charisma, she doesn't have the aptitude. So she'd have to do some schooling to make this happen, um, just to get the aptitude and the accounting up. Accounting is also fairly handy in the other things. Um, we're going to sit back and think a second, because there's some other jobs she could go for that might be even easier, like um, consultant actually might be pretty good. All right, I'll be back. Sid's not going to worry too much about what specifically she's going to take, because th these are rivalrous jobs. There's only one tax collector in the game as well. You know, there's only you can only have one of each store that you can take franchises out of people's businesses. I think I haven't really looked into franchising because yeah, I, I hear the word franchise and I just don't want to think about it anymore. Um, so yeah, so she did that. She's just going to get get up her um, aptitude and accounting because that's going to be she needs some of that anyway so she just figured well that's a good place to start um maybe could she start a business later on how much does it cost no it costs twenty thousand. so she might have to look at getting a job on her next turn but it's not her turn anymore it's cowboy's turn he's got alan so he really just wants to be a pro athlete he's going to need to get his charisma up big time he only has a one charisma. Um, Carnaxus cards. Now these Carnaxus cards, they can just like do a bunch of random things. Um, so it's, it's hard to strategize around getting them, but they're generally really good. Like that gives you a bunch of money. Let's look at some, what some of the other ones. Some more salary, things like that. Um, but he really, does he just want to go to college too? Is that what everyone's going to do the first year? of their adult life is go to college. Seems like there's got to be another option that would be fun. Um, well, I guess he's just going to go to college too. Now these, these look very similar to smudges, but they are different colors. Can you see the difference there? This is orange. All right. Okay, so Kaz and Kat, she's buried. She's not going to go to college. She is going to get a Carnaxis card because it only costs her 5000 and she wants to get 10 of those. Since you can only get one a turn, she's going to want to spend most of her turns buying a Carnaxis card if she can. So she's going to be thinking, she's going to kind of let these guide the rest of her play, I think, will be her lucky winnings. Immediately roll the die and receive 10,000 times the number of die. That's great to have money to buy Carnaxis cards. Wow, really good, really good. We'll take one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. 60,000. Great job, cat, as in cat. On to Watermelon. She has that full ride scholarship, so she's, of course, going to want to go to college, and she wants to get 20 attributes. I guess that's a total of attributes. So she needs to get 14 more attributes, which means she would need to go to college a good bit. Now, college is free. I don't think that means university is free. So after you go to college, you have to go to university, which, does that cost more? Yeah, it costs more, but you get a little more leeway as to which attributes you bump up. So she can. she's going to be able to get 12 of what she, no, uh, eight of what she needs which would give her a total of 14 um, just by going to college. She might want to need, she might need to go to um, university as well to get the rest of the way to 20. University for like three years. Yeah, so she's going to need three years of university, four years of college, if my quick math is right, and she needs to start a business, um, get 20,000 business growth. So I guess you can start multiple businesses and add on. I, I got to read the business stuff. So she'll go to college for free bump up a couple things. I'll get off the camera and um, look at what kind of businesses are out there that she might be interested in. I think a lot of them take kind of a good balance of things. Construction, you need a lot more handiness. As you, the lower ones are kind of more of a balance. I think she wants to think about what she can get first. Um, furniture store looks promising. So Tater isn't taught. She needs to start just start a lot of businesses. It doesn't matter how successful they are in terms of growth. So she just wants to pick off these low hanging fruit, right? These level one businesses. 
because they don't cost that much, relatively speaking. And if she can start four of them, so three level ones and a level two, then she'll be good. That'd be kind of hard to do since other people are trying to start businesses as well. But it looks like she's going to need some handiness to do any of them, except for the bookshop. Yeah, she could do the bookshop very soon if she just goes to college and gets some money. So she'll probably be looking at college and work this turn. Um, so she'll go to college as well, just like almost everyone else. And she's going to bump up aptitude because that's required. And then she's going to get her handiness in. So now she's going to, she has enough to get this one and almost enough to get the craft shop or the shoe shop. So she's very close. She just needs the money. Now we're going to do another round of turns and then we'll do the rest of the schmanker. Okay, we've gone around and now it's Kaz and Kat's turn. Before we talk about her though, let's talk about what uh, Smudge, Sid, and Cowboy did. Um, Smudge, he did some free study. I forget, he bumped up something. I did that this morning. It's the afternoon now. I've been busy. Um, Sid and Cowboy both got jobs. Sid is the pizza delivery person and Cowboy is a janitor. Now Kaz and Kat, working is not that exciting to her and I don't think she even qualifies for any job and she's sitting on this money. So how does she want to make this money work for her? She kind of has two different options right now. She could buy insurance but it just doesn't seem worth it. Um, so the two options I'm looking at for her are either to um, start a retirement fund and that if you have a retirement token then it, you get a bunch of you get money at the end of the game so it's kind of worth it 5,000 will give you a return of 30,000 and then yeah it kind of goes up depending on how many you have so that that might not be a bad idea um, or she could invest in stock. Now we have this one stock here that she could get a stock for 4,000 each. Um, I'm not quite sure what happens when it pays out. Maybe I should look at that. Probably should look at that and then see how like risky she's feeling. Okay, here's how stock works. You buy it for the number on there in thousands. Everything's in thousands in this game. Um, if it happens to go above the nine to the dollar symbol, you get a thousand for each stock you have. If it goes down to zero, you lose half the stock you have. Doesn't seem that compelling to me. Um, and as near as I can tell, maybe Carnaxis cards can affect them, but it's really just a roll of the die what happens to the stock. So let's look at our die faces. We have a plus two, plus one, a minus two, a plus one. A minus one and a minus one. So it just seems like it's, chances are it's not going to end up anywhere, right? I mean, it's going to end up somewhere, but the odds are that it's going to cancel itself out. So I think she'll just do the retirement fund. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. And so she'll get a little token for that and she'll, you know, that goes up, doubles if you get a second one. Then when you get to the fourth one, it's like five, as good as five times the amount. All right, we ended our year of actions with a watermelon becoming a manure sh sh shoveler. Uh, Tater, as a tot then, um, was stuck without being able to get a job. All the jobs she was qualified for were taken, even though she's a very qualified candidate. Um, so she just um, did some personal study and bumped up an attribute. Uh, she really needs to get some cash going so that she can... Um, buy more businesses. Uh, so now let's go to the end of the year, year end review, update and receive income. So that would be business income plus whatever you get for a job. CAD doesn't have anything like that. Um, watermelon's going to get $10,000. And I guess I'm thinking her business income is 2000 Every year it's going to go up 2000 while she has that kind of growth. And it's interesting, she doesn't, I don't think she starts with a stock because she didn't, um, she, her business doesn't have any stock because she doesn't have any of the card businesses, even though her card says she started a business. I guess it's not publicly traded. I don't really understand why there's no connection between how your business growth is doing and how the stocks are doing. Um, 
I guess that's just the trading of the stocks. There's other people investing that it has nothing to do with how the business actually is going. There's no connection between the stock value and how much you get from your business, I guess. Nothing for Smudge. Sid, she gets 20000 That's That's a nice job. $20,000 delivering pizza. And then Cowboy gets 15000 There we go. And now we'll look over here. Loan payments. No one has a loan. No one has an accountant or insurance. We don't have to pay taxes this year. So that's going to be the end of that round. Get this out of the way. Just throw it over there. And read the new event. It's a swap meet. Players may pay 5,000 to receive plus two attributes, but they must also reduce one attribute of their choice by two. That's an interesting swap meet. It's like a demon swap meet, I guess. You can swap up to five of their share tokens to any other business of their choice right now. Huh, that could be compelling to someone, I guess. I don't know when they get to do that. Do they have to decide that now? I guess they'd probably have to decide it now. I mean, it's not just at will they can do it. And I'm gonna assume they can only do it once. Or are they limited by how much money they have? And, okay, I'm gonna read it like this. They can do it once to get plus two, to receive plus two attributes. So I guess that's two total that you can put around the things. Uh, but they must also reduce. And I'm going to assume that they can't reduce something that's already at zero by two. They have to actually reduce something by two, um, which a lot of people won't even be able to do that. Um, well, I guess everyone would be able to do it, but generally the thing they have high, they want to have high. So I don't know how compelling it is. But all right, well, we'll think about that, and then we'll move on to, I guess I'll do this other stuff. I'm going to add 10,000 to here. Makes that more compelling of a space to go on. You also get to go first if you choose this space on the next year, because um, you're just ready. Um, and then update stocks. We'll update our one stock. Kaz gonna be kicking herself if we get a plus two, plus one. So it's back to where it was. So it went down one, and then when it went up one. Okay, so Smudge did decide to use the um, swap meet to drop his aptitude down two in order to bump up his um, his handiness. He figured that would be fine because since he's going to be be going to college to get his attributes up, um, the aptitude will, will go up anyway because uh, you have you have to have aptitude go up one every time you go to college, and then you get to choose one other thing. And so that seemed to make sense because then, then he could focus. He has his handiness where he needs it to be because he wants to be the hairstylist. And then he can just focus on using the other point to bump up his charisma. So he went to college and did that. Let's see what Sid decides to do. And Sid started the first business of the game. It's a craft shop, though it's probably going to expand to be other things as well because um, all of your businesses become just one like mega thing that... It's just all one thing. Um, Cowboy, he went back to studying to get his charisma up. I, I guess, I don't know what class that is. Communication major, I guess. Um, and that leaves us at, with cash. She's going to get a new Carnaxis card. And it costs her only 5000 She's rolling on in cash from that last card. So let's see what it is. It's a business boost. If you own a business, roll the die and receive business growth equal to the number on the die in thousands. You can hold on to this card and use it once you own a business. Okay, so maybe she would be interested in starting a business now because she can get a business boost. Um, she would need to get a couple more accounting and she could get the bookshop. She definitely has the money for it. Um, let's see what Watermelon does. Watermelon's going to want to go to school, but does she... And if she wants to keep her job, she's going to have to work, too. Is that going to be all she does this turn? 20 business growth. Is she able to get to a business now? Um, 3311 is what she's looking at. She's, she's going to probably go to school and then maybe try to get um, that bookshop and maybe lose the manure shoveler job. But first, she needs to go to school to qualify to run a bookshop. Does that for free. And she's going to bump up her accounting. And her aptitude goes up. 
Now we go on to Tater as in Tot. She's got her business going. She's not earning very much money though. She would like to be able to get a job. Uh, three, two, two, one. Three, two, two. She's close to being able to be a hairstylist. She's, ooh, she's also close to being able to be a dental assistant. Yeah, so I think she'll go to college. I don't think she went to college yet, did she? Did she go to college last time? Yeah, she did. Um, so she'll pay. She's really scraping the bottom of her money money barrel. Three, two, and what does she need to become a dental assistant? She just needed aptitude. She got that. And okay, I'll have to decide what else she wants to boost along with the aptitude. Mr. Smudge, he collected the unemployment, um, which he is unemployed. That gave him twenty thousand, so he's hoping he'll be able to buy that shoe shop soon. Um, he doesn't have a turn now, but he's going to get to go first again. So if no one buys it this round, he can jump on it on his next uh, the next year and and have part of his Carnaxis fulfilled. Sid, she went back to school. Um, I have to reflect it by doing this, and now we, that leaves us at Cowboy. Oh, uh, interesting thing, Sid is, did not go to work, so she's going to lose her job at the end of the year. Cowboy, does he want to go to work? Janitor job? I don't know, does he need the money? I'll have to think. Ah, Cowboy, he qualifies to be um, a bear, right? That's the trucker name for a police, police officer, a bandit. Now, I, he might be able to get... No, I think he only gets this if he goes to work, but when he starts a job, you can technically do both jobs in one year. That's one way that she could get her 70000 in job salary is by actually just doing two jobs. Um, but since he didn't go to work this year, he's going to lose the janitor job and get that. Yep. Oh, and go to work, you have to use it your first action. I didn't read that before, so we're not going to count that this round. But in the future, if they don't do it right away, I don't understand. Because I, I kind of always assumed these actions were kind of both happening at the same time. Like, if you go to co college, you work at nights, maybe. Um, but I guess not. Okay. Well, let's keep that in mind. Let's follow the rules. Follow the rules, everyone. I bet that's a gamey thing so that people can then... These jobs are then available. So this is a little off. Someone maybe could have taken these jobs instead of doing other stuff, but we're not going to worry about it. The real people multi-game solid term, mega tournament is not fair. All right, now Kat, is she qualified to get a business? Because she would like to be able to use this business boost. That sounds like a good idea. Um, she is not, because she has not been going to college, so she doesn't know how to do anything. Could she get a franchise? You own a business franchise. What do you need to own a business franchise? Nope, she'd have to have the prerequisites to actually run the business, so that's not gonna work. So instead, she's gonna go to college, I guess. Uh, everyone having a college party. All right. So to college, she'll get some aptitude, which she doesn't really need as much. Now, does she want accounting or handiness? I think she's got charisma enough to, to be in most things. Handiness would let her do shoe shop or car dealership. She'd still need accounting. The only thing that doesn't need accounting is the furniture store for some reason. I guess since you're, you're selling large things, you don't have to like, you can just add like, 400 to 400 and that that's pretty easy I'm guessing I don't know I get, well and also it's easy to account for furniture because it's very big whereas car dealerships they also sell something that's big but they have all the loan stuff they try to do they want you to take a loan it's really a loan loaning business um, so it sounds like accounting would be good yeah so handiness is also necessary. I guess it probably doesn't matter. She probably needs both to have options. Uh, she would rather go in the second tier, I think, with the amount of money she has now. Yeah, we'll just stick with accounting. Okay. 
All right, and the year is gonna end with Watermelon uh, becoming a bookshop owner. She gets the bookshop, which is nice. And Tater is in Tot getting her first job. She's gonna be a, she's qualified to be a dental assistant, so she's gonna take that. She's actually, it says 35,000 salary, but the taxes are pretty bad for that amount. It's not a good spot to be in, better than being at 26, but uh, she's really only going to pull in 20,000. But that's going to be enough for her to start a business next time around. Um, so, not too bad. Let's go through and do taxes. No income for Smudge. She is going to have an income of 3,000, so that's not going to be taxable. Um, Cowboy has an income of 50,000. So he's only going to get um, 35000 He's at the upper end of his bracket, which is nice for Cowboy. Over here, Kaz and Cat has no income. She just got all her money from this card. I'm saving these cards because she's supposed to get have 10. So you don't discard them so you can count them. She got lucky. Um, and here we have an income of 4000 That's not going to matter. And she she has a nut oh her business grows another two thousand and then so she's gonna get another four thousand right over here and with that bit of accounting there I think we're gonna end it there's a few more things I need to do but I gotta go now and this is a good time to end the video right tax time let's see you next time on the real people multi game solitaire mega tournament English leg Carnaxis.